about here on a Sunday morning and uh, just out checking water for these guys make sure that the water's still good uh, as far as filling up and everything off the gravity feed system uh, I have had a little bit of trouble with them knocking the uh, the the flow valve off of the side of the trough and so that's that's never good because the water's running out on the ground or not at all and uh, so I like to come out here and check it uh, just till I get a I, I kind of changed up the way that it's attached to the trough and so I want to make sure that's still holding good and eventually I'll get comfortable with it and know that you know it's it's going to be there and I won't have to check it so often it's nice to get out here on a Sunday morning uh, it's kind of a beautiful morning we've got rain coming in thankfully it's not raining right now but uh, rain's coming in and uh, it's just a, a beautiful morning turn the camera around yeah just a real pretty day again it's, it's kind of cloudy and stuff but it's all right it's nice and cool out here that's a good thing there's a lot of blooms there that the i'm sure the bees are hitting very heavily for this uh this honey flow season but yeah that's that's what we're out here doing this morning and i thought i would talk a little bit this morning about you know you guys know that we use a lot of electric fence here on the farm and uh, let me get this camera adjusted here. We use a lot of electric fence and uh, we also have a lot of barbed wire on the fence. <laughs> we have a lot of barbed wire fence on the farm. And so I thought I'd talk just a minute, just off the top of my head, kind of pros and cons of barbed wire versus electric fence. And, uh, and just off the top of my head here, let's talk about barbed wire. Pros, barbed wire is very strong most of the time if you buy the the good stuff um, barbed wire strong it'll hold up to deer and stuff kind of going through it it's not going to get loose very easily if, if installed properly uh, and so it's you know I think that's one of the big things about barbed wire uh, and why a lot of people use barbed wire it's it's strong you don't have to worry about it. you don't have to worry about something uh, yeah, water looks good. You don't have to worry about something falling on it, a tree or something like that, falling on the barbed wire and, you know, grounding out the fence so that it's not effective anymore. Uh, cons of barbed wire, man, it's a pain to work with. I mean, there's just constantly, <laughs> you're constantly trying to avoid them barbs, even if you have leather gloves on. It'll go through those leather gloves. It'll tear up leather gloves in, in no time. Um, so it's just a real pain to put up. It's also expensive to put up. Uh, so all those T-posts uh, and all those strands of barbed wire, you've got to have more. So you've got to have at least, uh, in my opinion, a five-strand barbed wire fence to really make it effective. You know, you're not going to be able to run a, a single strand of barbed wire and expect the cows not to go through it. And, uh, and that's, that's kind of some of the, the cons of, of barbed wire. And that's where electric fence really shines is that, you know, electric fence is pretty cheap. I mean, yeah, the charger is a little bit expensive, but compared to the amount of cost that it would have taken for me to run the amount of electric fence, if I had done that with barbed wire, it would have been a small fortune. And so electric fence is pretty cheap. Uh, it's it can be very effective electric fence can be once the animals are trained to it But it's also something a con I don't feel like it's effective enough for me to use as a boundary fence a lot of people do uh, but to me and What I mean by a boundary fence my arms getting tired here <laughs> trying to hold this camera up for me a, a boundary fence uh, the definition of boundary fence is, is basically that uh, it's the outside parameter of my property. So if the cows go through that fence, they're off of my property, and now I'm chasing down cows, right? As long as they're still on my property, it's fairly easy for me to get them back into a fence. And so that's that to me is where barbed wire really shines, is it's, it is uh, you know strong enough that as long as it's maintained and, and looked after, kept tight, 
the cows are like not likely to go through it there are exceptions to that no doubt you can have a bull that just really wants to go through and get to a, a group of heifers that are in in heat and that sort of thing but really it's it's pretty strong and that's why i like it for my boundary fences but electric fence is really working out well for the internal fences and you can run a five strand electric fence if you want to uh, you know if you if you really need something they're not going to go through i was having trouble in one spot on the farm where we were running a single strand electric fence we were actually just running one of the poly temporary fences and they they went through it a couple of times and i think it's because it was it was a point of pressure for them they would hang around that spot uh, a lot and then they would kind of rough house and stuff and they probably pushed each other through the fence and so what i did is i i put up high tensile fence there the, the high tensile electric fence and put up two strands and they have not been through that since so that's been very effective but you know those are some of the pros and cons of electric fence and and barbed wire fence i'm trying to think if there's any other ones here off the top of my head um inexpensive effective i mean like i said you know one of the big cons of electric fence is if it grounds out it's not super effective now don't get me wrong if it's grounded out for you know five six seven eight hours or something before you find out that it's grounded out you know it's probably not a big deal uh, at least it hasn't been for me because the cows already know and associate that fence with hey i don't want to touch that and so even though they're not they're a cow's not out there testing that fence constantly they're you know they might get up against it or something every so often if it doesn't bite back then naturally they're going to quit respecting it but if it's just uh you know grounded out for a few hours or something like that it's not a big deal because the cows think that it's charged they think that it's effective and therefore they're going to stay away from it so um so that's you know that's one of the cons but it's it's not been a major con for me so far uh, certainly you know you have to check on those electric fences the good thing is is that our electric fences are not running along um, heavy brush fence lines normally and so there's no there it's pretty easy to tell if something's you know if something's falling on we do have some exceptions like out here in these woods um, over here to the right in those woods we have a little section of electric fence running through there just to allow them to to get into the woods get some shade and stuff like that so i have to check that one a little bit more often to make sure something's not uh, landed on the electric fence and and grounding it out in fact there was uh, this last time that i checked it I, there was a limb had fallen on it and so i had to you know take kick that limb off but anyways those are a few of the pros and cons maybe that'll help somebody if you're trying to determine you know electric fence versus barbed wire fence um, for me, barbed wire on the boundaries, electric fence has the interior fences to create paddocks. So, hope you guys have a great Sunday. Talk to you soon.